Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision, and today I'm going to show you how to make this liquid effect in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you're on the fill. As you can see down here, I'm on the fill. If you can, if you have something in the stroke, let's say a color, make sure you click on the knot. So let's select here the rectangle tool, which is located right here. Let's make a thick line actually right here at the top. Press V or select this right here, the arrow. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. Also press Shift to isolate it. Drag all the way down and uh, make it thin. Select both, go to Objects, click on Blend and Make. As you can see, it created a lot of copies. We don't want that much, so I'm gonna go here. Where's the Blend tool? Double click on it and select Specify Steps. We got 50 copies, we're gonna decrease it to... I, at least I'm gonna decrease it to 26. Make sure you got some distances also here at the end. So the distance is going to be bigger and bigger. Click OK. Go to Object. Go to Expand. Click OK. Go to Object again. Envelope Distort. Make with Mesh. Uh, mostly what I need here is the columns. So I'm going to go with 7 columns, rows, 2. Click OK, select the direct selection tool and uh, what I'm going to do is select these anchor points which is located right here in this line and I'm just going to pull it like this. OK, after this go to object and expand again, click OK, go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, by the way, go to Windows and select Symbols, which is located right here. And drag and drop this right here. If you can rename it if you want and then click OK. Click on Delete. We don't need this right now. And let's create a circle. Where's the rectangle tool? It's right under the, you know, here you can find the ellipse tool. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle. Select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, click on delete. Now select the pen tool, click here on this anchor point, press and hold shift. So it's going to create a straight line and don't click where they intersect, go a, a bit further, you know. So it's going to go like this, this is the hall. Um, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to press pen tool again and I'm going to start from here and go where they intersect right now. I won't connect these together. Make sure you, you don't connect these together because it's going to mess up the composition. I mean the 3D effect. From here go to effects, 3D, revolve. I want to distort the perspective somewhere around here. Okay. Click on map art and let's select the this part. You can search, so this is the top, this is the bottom here, and the third, the three out of three is the body. Okay, I'm gonna click on invisible geometry, and from here let's select the symbol that we made. I'm gonna go to scale to fit. And damn, I made it invert. Okay, I actually I'm gonna invert this. So press and hold shift. Now it's inverted. I'm gonna drag this all the way down, all the way up. And now we have this interesting stuff going on. Click OK. I'm gonna click OK again and see what I did so far. But we can adjust this. So I'm gonna go here, at, where's the appearance? If you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select Appearance, it's right up. And here is the 3D Revolve, and click on it, and from here I can modify even more. Something like this, I'm gonna go to back to Map Art and deselect the invisible geometry, click OK, click OK. I'm gonna select the white. I'm gonna create a new copy, and go to Object, Expand Appearance, and I'm gonna right click on group, right click on group. You see, so this one is a little bit more complicated, it has more stuff going on. 
We're gonna select the bottom also and this and this. Just drag it. As you can see, this is the part which is in the back. From here, right click and release clipping mask. And now I can select only this part. Group. These also. There you have it. I'm gonna delete these. And we still have some stuff to clean up, the interior part here and the upper side here and mostly, you know, there's, there's like more work going into this, but um, I'm just going to show you how it's done. So I'm going to go ungroup it and select this, basically that goes here and select this also, press shift plus M or you go to the direct selection, well, oh, sorry, shape builder tool here, press and hold alt, also shift and select the unwanted stuff here. And there you go, this is how you achieve this liquid melting effect. Thanks for watching, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get not notified with daily updates. Also check out the other videos as well and have a great day, bye bye. Thank you.